Hello everyone, thank you once again for your kind patience and understanding. Uh, now let's start with the third recording. Uh, the focus today will still be on uh, memory strategies uh, as one of the strategy categories in uh, direct strategies. So I would like to start by asking you to close your eyes and see if you still remember the 10 phobia words that I asked you to try to remember in class. Now I'm sure it was a good opportunity okay, for you to uh, not just reflect on your own memory strategies, but also by working with other uh, classmates, you had an opportunity to see what strategies other people were applying. And uh, so just, you know, okay, uh, think about which words, which phobia words can really pop out in your mind now. And then uh, perhaps we can, uh, you know, okay, uh, talk about this in class and see uh, how many students have longer, uh, you know, memory of uh, these words and then uh, try to figure out what specific uh, strategies, okay, that they applied. Okay, now, um, so these are uh, the eight mnemonic techniques that I would like to focus on okay, t today. Um, basically, these are sp special memory uh, strategies or you can call it tricks you know okay to help you uh, better remember uh, things that you would like to remember so the first one okay is acronym now everybody understand okay what acronym here means but as a memory strategy okay it means using the first letter from a group of words to form a new word now this could be very useful specifically when you are trying to remember words in a specific order so, for example, okay, right, the uh, five Great Lakes between Canada and the United States, right, Lakes Superior, Michigan, okay, Huron, Erie, and Ontario. So, looking at the first letter, you can actually form a word called homes, right? Definitely, this will help you better uh, to remember these five Great Lakes. Another example is the scuba, right? Everybody knows that, hey, I want to go scuba diving, right? But exactly what does this acronym stand for? Some people might not even know that this is, uh, okay, an acronym. So actually, okay, scuba refers to, okay, self-contained uh, underwater breathing apparatus, right? Makes sense, right? Okay. So using acronym is a very effective and mnemonic uh, technique. However, okay, uh, there are three uh, disadvantages. For example, okay, uh, this uh, only help you, okay, right, by uh, uh, memorizing something, okay, through rote memorization, and it doesn't really help you, okay, to understand and comprehend, okay, what these things means. All right. And then uh, it's difficult to form, right? Okay, uh, you know, uh, you would have very good luck if all these first letters can be formed, you know, okay, uh, into a word that makes sense. Well, and then, um, you know, it can be forgotten if you are not committed, you know, okay, to try to put that into your long-term memory. Okay, now let's take a look at the second mnemonic technique. Okay, it's called acrostics. Simply, okay, it's actually, okay, sentences. Now this one is similar to um, the first uh, uh, strategy, uh, acronym. Um, it's it's again okay using the first letter of each word that you try to remember. Okay, however, okay you do not make a word, you make a sentence. Uh, particularly okay, it is helpful when you need to remember a list of words in a specific order. For example, okay right, uh, if you say every good boy deserves fun. Okay, this is actually an acrostic, okay, to remember the order of the G uh, clef notes, okay, on uh, sheet music. So for people who are in music, right, okay, you understand what this means. So you use the letter, okay, to form a sentence that makes sense, okay, right to you. Uh, sometimes, you know, okay, it doesn't have to make sense as long as it is uh, funny. Okay, the disadvantages of uh, using acrostics, okay, could be like, you know, again, it's rote memorization, ji. It doesn't really aid comprehension. Uh, and, uh, okay, uh, furthermore, it takes more time and thought to create and require uh, remembering a whole new sentence rather than just one word. 
okay, like the acronym, okay? But uh, Westerners do use this strategy. Okay, the third strategy, okay, that we would like to talk about is called rhyme keys. This is actually, okay, a two-step memory uh, process. So first of all, you memorize the keyword, the target word that can be associated with numbers, right? So like number one, number two, number three. Okay, so uh, in English, there is like a rhyme, okay, called okay, number one, okay, um, you know, I have a bun or look at the bun. Number two, okay, tie your shoes. So you create an image of the items that you need to remember with the keywords. Right. In other words, a bun. Okay. If you want to remember, like there's some cheese. So a bun with cheese. Okay. On it will remind you of a like dairy. Okay. Right. Product. Uh, other examples. Okay. Include like you know. Okay. One bun, cheese on a bun. Okay. Uh, if you want to remember poultry, like okay, or meat or fish. Okay. Uh, you can use okay two. Okay, shoe, uh, and then livestock, okay, with shoes. And then, uh, you know, uh, for grains, okay, number three, okay, right, it's a tree, okay, and then you can picture a sack of a grain hang, okay, from a tree. And the last one is, uh, okay, fruit and vegetables, right, for, okay, uh, open the door, okay, uh, open the door and then walk into a room stocked with fruits and vegetables. So basically, okay, this is uh, using, okay, uh, numbers to help you, okay, remember things. And then the rhyme is about like number one, okay, uh, it's a bun. Number two, okay, tie your shoe. Number three, okay, it's a tree. Okay, number four, open the door. And then, you know, okay, it goes on. All right, the next mnemonic technique we would like to um, talk about is Luxie. I am sure you all still remember the two films that I uh, played in class for you. Remember this world memory champion, right? How he used, you know, this specific uh, memory strategy called Luxie, okay, to help him remember all the different types of cars. It is really amazing. But I'm sure, okay, when we were watching the video, okay, uh, many students would have the same question that I had, okay, when I first, uh, you know, was when I first watched the, this video, okay, that is, uh, if you need to remember the locations, right, isn't it, you know, okay, like adding to your burden to try to remember the locations and then the things that you put on, you know, okay, these locations. In fact, okay, Luxy, okay, is used by, uh, this method, okay, was used by ancient orators, you know, okay, 演说专家, okay, uh, to remember speeches, okay, and then this, this specific mnemonic technique is actually a combination use of uh, organization, visual memory, and also association. So how do you do it? Okay, first of all, you need to identify a common place that you are familiar with. So do you remember, right, the doctor, okay, in that film? In the second film, right? Okay, he puts all these thirty uh, words that he had to uh, remember, you know, in uh, right starting, okay, from his house, and then okay, walking into okay his rooms. So obviously, okay, you need to find the place that you are most familiar with, right? It could be like you know, for in, uh, for the guy, the world champion, memory champion. Okay, it was a, a path. Okay, uh, for you, it could be your room. As long as you are very familiar with the place, you can use this. And then, okay, you create a vivid visual memory of the path and the object along with it, right? So you will put these things, okay, right, in these locations that you are fami very familiar with. And then mentally, okay, you associate each piece of information that you need to remember, okay, with one of these landmarks. Okay, uh, for him, it was the landmarks um, along the streets, right? Uh, for you, it could be, you know, uh, the places, uh, you know, the specific uh, play, uh, uh, place, uh, specific, you know, okay, uh, locations in your room, all right? So, for example, placing a list of the things you need to remember in the place or the location, and then try to recall each one by taking a walk along that path. 
right? So for example, you 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 are standing okay right outside of your apartment. You walk in okay into your living room and there is sofa, and then you walk into your bathroom or your bedroom okay right things like that. It's important to, to visualize and recall each location readily. Okay, and then try to create visual images of the words associated with one of the locations, right? So that was Luxy. And um, okay, the next technique that we want to talk about is called keyword okay, method. Now, this is by selecting a, a target word that you need to remember. So, for example, okay, right, you are studying uh, French. Or you know you are studying Spanish or English, right? There's a word you would like to remember. So how do you do that? You identify, okay, an English word that sounds like the foreign, okay, uh, the foreign one. In other words, uh, suppose that English is your uh, native tongue, right? So you think of a, okay, right, a, a word, okay, that uh, sounds like, okay, the target word that you are learning. So Imagine, okay, and then you imagine an image, okay, that involves the keyword, the word you want to remember with the okay, English meaning of the foreign word. So I'll give you an example. For example, in Spanish, the word cabina, okay, means phone booth, right? So how do you remember this word, okay? You invent an image of a taxi, okay, a cab, right? And then you, okay, this cab, okay, trying to fit in a phone booth, right? So you have a cab. And then you have okay right uh, you have you 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 have the image of a cab trying to okay right uh, you know fit into the phone booth and that's how you remember the word okay cabina when you see the word cabina okay it, you should be able to recall this image and thereby okay right retrieve the meaning of a uh, okay, phone booth right so you know this is uh, called keyword method the next method I would like to uh, you know uh, introduce is called image name technique. Now I'm sure, okay, right? Many of you probably already applied this strategy, right? You invent, okay. So this is specifically helpful, okay, when you are trying to uh, connect a name, okay, right, to okay the person with that name, right? Sometimes we meet people, okay, why right, we try to remember, okay, why right, who they are and their names. So this might be a very good, okay, why right, uh, strategy to use. So how do you do that? You invent a relationship between the name and the physical characteristics of the person. A good example is Shirley Temple. Okay, um, she was a very popular American, okay, child star. And then, uh, you know, so when you think of a Shirley Temple, you think of uh, her curly, okay, why right? curly rhymes with Shirley, okay, her curly hair, okay, right, and then uh, her curly hair around, okay, her uh, temples, okay. So that's how you can remember, uh, you know, um, people's names. So you connect, okay, a specific physical characteristic of that person and their names. Okay. Now the number seven uh, mnemonic technique is called chunking, right? So this is specifically useful, okay, for remembering numbers and other things as well. Uh, basically, this is based on, okay, short-term memory. Okay, which is actually limited in the number of things that can be okay contained. So um, basically, according to research, right, we believe that uh, we are informed by research that there is a common rule. Okay, that is, uh, um, you know, a person okay can remember seven items okay in short-term memory, right, or seven okay plus or minus two. In other words. Right, people can remember between five to seven things at one time. So I guess that's why local telephone number probably in most countries okay have seven digits, right? So a good example would be if when particularly right, this is about remembering numbers. So if you have to remember a set of a number like seven five, okay two four one nine nine six. So chunking, right? You put them into small chunks. Right, so either you could do okay, why right, four chunks like seven five, okay, seventy five, twenty four, nineteen, and ninety six. But then, okay, why right, in this case you might want to do three chunks because there are seventy five, twenty four, and nineteen ninety six. Okay, can be remembered as a specific year. Okay, now here we are. Okay, uh, on slide number seven, we want to talk about the last mnemonic technique called chaining. Uh, in other words, you create a story where each word or idea you have to remember 
okay, will choose the next idea. Okay, you need to recall. You know, you need to recall. In other words, okay, right? You make up a story. So, for example, if I want you to remember Napoleon year door Germany, what? How do you do that? Right? You make a story out of it in the order that you want to. So, how about Napoleon had his year to the door? Okay, why、right, to listen to the Germans in his? Okay, why、right, beer cellar? Okay, all right. And then, uh, remember? Okay, why、right, the ten phobia words? Some of the students actually apply. Uh, this is chaining, right? Okay, the story, right? Like 接龙故事 okay? Huh? Um, I have a feeling that people who actually apply this strategy to remember the ten phobias probably had a better chance to still remember because a story makes sense, right? Even though the story itself, okay, could be absurd and ridiculous, but by okay, by using this strategy, okay, you probably had a better chance to retain these information, okay, right, in your long-term memory. Okay, so here is an exercise, right? I would like you to look at these nine words, right? And I want you to use the chaining as a、uh, strategy to help you remember all these words. Okay, um, we will do this in class. Okay, so you can take a look at the list of words: traumatic, besiege, impede, staggering, okay, patronizing, fortitude, foster, embrace, frantic, okay, dilemma, and novice. Okay, now, uh, so in chapter two we talk about direct, okay, why、right, strategies, right? In other words, it, it uh, okay, it uh includes memory strategies, cognitive strategies, and compensation, okay, strategies. And under each strategy category, okay, there are smaller strategy strategy items, okay, like this one here, right? But I wanted to focus on, okay, I would like to focus on, okay, this one. All right, this one that is a、uh, uh, creating mental okay linkage. In other words, right?、Um, this is about store storing okay your storage capacity for visual information. All right, actually expands its capacity for verbal、uh, materials. Okay, uh, so what do I mean by that? That means、uh, okay, right? When you create mental linkage, you use visuals, you create an image to help you. Okay, right. Better remember something, and then research has informed us that storage capacity, our ability to okay store information for visual information, actually, okay, why、right, uh the storage capacity exceeds you know its capacity for verbal okay uh materials. In other words, if we remember something by okay uh using visual okay methods, we have a We have, uh, you know, okay, uh, we are more capable, all right, because we have better storage capacity, okay, uh, compared to if we want to remember, okay, something that we hear, right? Uh, the thing is, uh, according to research, okay, uh, many people, particularly, okay, Asian students, they don't really, okay, they are not used to applying visual, okay, strategies, right? So moving on, okay, chunks of information are transferred, okay, to long-term memory through visual images. In other words, right, there are two ways we remember information. One is by looking at words or by listening to what we hear, right. Another one is to, okay, right, create mental linkage, right. So think about that. You can transfer, okay, the information, okay, why、right? you have a better chance to transfer, okay, the information to long-term memory, okay, if you. Uh, you know, try to remember them, okay, with the visual, okay, images. Visual images, okay, may be the most potent device to aid recall of verbal materials. And finally, okay, a large portion of learners have a preference for visual, okay, learning. Uh, yes, when we talk about different learning style, this is true. Okay. Um. However, okay, later on in class, I will talk more about Asian students. Okay. So the last slide here, I wanted to talk about how our mind works. Okay, so you probably wonder when we look at that, you know, world memory champion, right? You wonder, okay, why? Well, okay, this person is a genius, right? Okay, I won't be able to do what he does. The thing is, right? We need to ask ourselves a question: Is memory a fixed quality? In other words. Okay, for those people with exclusive gift, okay, for pictures or musical scores or chess positions or dramatic, okay, why scripts or even faces, 
So what are we talking about here, right? You know that there are people who can, okay, right, who have special, you know, okay, talents, okay, gift for remembering things like using pictures, right? And I, I still remember I used to have a student who told me that, okay, whenever he, she, okay, was a girl, okay, and she plays the music, she plays the piano. She says when she tried to remember, okay, uh, her friend's uh, telephone numbers, you know, for for her, each person's, each of her friend's telephone number, okay, becomes a little melody, right? So it's like, a dun, 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 right? That's Judy's phone number, right? So, you know, and then for people, right, particularly, okay, the world champion chess players, right? You know how many, okay, chess positions they have to, okay, why well, remember, right? They definitely have a special, okay, talent, okay, for that, and then think about all these, okay, fantastic, you know, okay, right, actors or actresses, okay, why right? people who have to memorize, they have to memorize a lot of, uh, okay, why right, scripts. So how do they do that, right? I bet they have a special talent for that too. And then not to mention, right, people, some people can just remember, okay, people's faces. Okay, so we want to ask this question, okay, is this, is this gift something you are born with? Or like that memory champion, okay, what I said in that movie, in that film, okay, he said that, well, actually, it's something that you can train yourself, right? So nature, right? Nature means something you are born with, okay? Nurture means something that you can be trained, right? I basically believe that, okay, why right, for some of the mnemonic, mnemonic, okay, why right, technique, like memory strategies, you can actually be trained, you know, okay, to, to, to be able to use those strategies to help you remember things better. Okay. Um, okay. And then if we take a look at the experts versus the novice, right? Experts are people who have already accumulated a lot of experiences and then they become, okay, right, the best in their line of, uh, you know, okay, uh, you know, okay, uh, work right uh novice right people who just start out people who don't have a lot of experience right in other words right there has to be okay a moment when okay the experts were a novice before and then through lots of experience accumulated over time they can become okay why right, an expert right okay um and then later on i would like to show you okay uh this is popcorn method right uh, so basically, okay, this is what I would like to talk about today. Okay, thank you once again for your time and attention, and then I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.